All right, it is time to start buttoning this thing up. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning on some of these plastic trim pieces that I otherwise would not be able to get to. So I'm going to run this thing over some alcohol to get rid of this, uh, this, this guck that's in here. And we're gonna start putting all this back and getting it all buttoned up and finished. Let's do it. Shall we? I miss the family I used to have. I feel like everything's so different now Sitting by the fire as you'd watch the flames burn out I miss the days I wasn't afraid Now I always have my guard up Hands on my face, I learned to cope with the pain I know that people think I'm trying to get attention But in reality I'm trying to send a message I know there's kids out there that are going through the same thing And if you're one of them I hope to help your suffering Just know it will get better and these feelings do not stay the same, no they don't stay the same I don't wanna make you feel bad But you kinda ruin my life You hurt me and ruin my life And I don't wanna make you feel bad I think the next upgrade you guys are gonna see is a bathroom being put in one of these corners My bladder is the size of a kitten I don't know why Motor not motor, as if I'm doing a whole uh, swap here. The front of the motor, the serpentine I can't speak this morning. The serpentine belt is back on. Tommy belt, you already saw that. That's done, that's on. We are back in business. Look at this beauty. And I also just did a nice, very big cleanup. Uh, it was well needed. I had tools everywhere. This is what's left. I'm not gonna be able to take care of that now. Uh, and everything that's pretty much out, for the most part, is gonna have to stay out now, just like some of the trim covers, battery, obviously, the headlights and all that. Uh, old belts, I actually got scared for a second when I was putting on the uh, serpentine belt. I didn't think they got the right size, and I checked it. I'm like, how is that not, how, how does that not line up? It's my work alarm. Uh, and I'm like, how does, how does that not line up? And just, I didn't realize it slipped off the alternator, which is, that'll do it. That'll do the trick. But now we are all back in business. That is buttoned up now. It is gonna be time to do the spark plugs, meaning I gotta take off the throttle body, and hopefully I'll only have to take off the throttle body. I no, mm, oh maybe no, yeah I'm gonna have to take off the, the manifold. Oh, I did not want to do that, but you can see right here, right here where this comes off, it's gonna line up right with this. I mean I might be able to snake it by. I don't know. We're gonna have to figure that. Figure that out later once I start taking that apart. But for right now, I'm gonna go make some money. I'll see you back in about. I lost a couple friends on my way up. I took a couple L's, but that's just normal talk. I popped a couple pills, but they don't do much. And now I take Prozac in the morning with some other stuff. But why did I get into this? I feel like this is all a dream. But when I wake up, look around this is an even make believe. So I sit in the corner thinking back to all the memories. I grew up with these fake beliefs. By the time I find a remedy, I don't want to make you feel bad.
So I try my best not to have too many time lapse, time lapses, and I know there was a bunch of little time lapses in there that I, again, do try and avoid to do, but in a situation like that, I was really so focused on just getting everything done and buttoned up back together properly, I mean, and... I didn't get to fully explain one of my findings and it was in my last cylinder all the way back here that the spark plug like you did see uh, had coolant on it which I'm hoping isn't from a warped head and I'm just hoping that miraculously a magician put some there just to kind of mess with me so that worries me a little bit but I put coolant in it all the brand new spark plugs are gapped and they are in and i'm hoping that we can fully start this thing up and have some good results i'm i was debating whether or not to put this this piece back on which was the uh the air box in here and i've decided that i'm actually going to do that real quick so give me one sec all right everything is buttoned back up we are now back to where we were, except minus one thing, which is the cap, the, the cam gear cap. <sighs> I think it's time to start this. And I don't know why, but I'm so nervous right now, much more than I think I should be, but, oh man. Let's do it. Oh gosh. Holy guacamole. I can't believe it's done. I'm happy. That is, remember, my first go at doing something like that. So happy with how it turned out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it for a drive right now because I do have a couple things that I have to do before I can get to that point. But everything turns on. Everything runs. The car has heat. The car has AC. Everything cycles. The system is burped. Went down the checklist right there, and everything checked off so far. All that's left is uh, putting the cap back on, and I still do fear that I, my last cylinder has a wee bit of a misfire, but I will compression test that. I already know it's going to tell me. I, I, I know it. I know I have a warped head. I just feel it in my gut, and that is what is very unfortunate. But for all you guys that have watched all the way through, Thank you so much. Do me a favor, leave comments down below. Leave a comment down below telling me if you guys do like the time lapse or if you want less time lapse because, again, I do try not to have as much time lapse in there because even me personally, when I'm watching a, a video like some of these guys out here and girls that have these, these videos, watching the time lapses are, they're good if you're trying to learn something, I guess, quickly or just kind of watch like a time lapse process, but like, it's not very one-on-one -on -one. it's just like here i'm gonna set this thing up here and watch anyway without the babbling thank you so much for watching please leave me a comment letting me know i will see you guys in the next one